Hello and welcome to a new video. This time with another review, we're gonna have a Season 2 Storyline player. Now, obviously, these three players that we had in Season 2, for me, uh, they're a bit worse uh, than Season 1, I think. So we have Vox, we have uh, Gelson Martins, and we have Danilo. Now, obviously, from uh, what you can see from their stats, Danilo looks like the worst choice of all. The best choice looks like Oxlade, which looks like uh, a fantastic box-to-box um, -box CM. As you can see, high, high, four-star weak foot, four-star skills, and his stats look amazing, well-rounded. His shooting, his passing, his dribbling is fantastic. His pace is very good. His physicals are, are great. His stamina is a bit low for a box-to-box -box with high, high, but I think he can make uh, 90 minutes with these. He has good interceptions, uh, good standing tackle, so you can play him anywhere. Uh, you can put a, an anchor or, or a shadow and even play him as a CDM or you can put a, like a dead eye and play him as a cam. Uh, it looks like a very good card. Then we have Gelson Martins, which uh, also a good card. Uh, high medium, three star weak foot, but he has five star skills. So for me, this is close to the Zaha that we had in season one, uh, although more pace, as you can see, 97, 97. Uh, his shooting is okay and his passing not that great. His dribbling is very good, agility, balance, uh, 95, 98, uh, uh, dribbling, composure, uh, ball control. So his stamina is 91. So what you're missing here is probably a dead eye and make this uh, card playable. But for me, uh, I'm looking into this Danilo. I said at the beginning that it looks like the worst card, but uh, I need to play this card and find out if he really is as bad as it looks. Now he's not um, very fast, as you can see, 77 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. Um, his shooting is very high, uh, but it doesn't matter for our right back. His passing is good, his crossing, his short passing, his curve is, is very nice. His agility is okay, 73, his balance is a bit low at 69. Uh, his reactions and ball control is good, his composure is 74. Uh, his defending is mediocre, I would say, for a right back, and his physical is the same. So what you would need here is maybe an anchor or even a shadow to up his pace and up his defending. Now I need this card for uh, a couple of reasons. First of all, because uh, this is the, mo the, the highest rated right back from Syria. And also you, we eventually get a Brazilian right back. Now for the team I have right now, since I have Politano on the right wing, uh, this right back is gonna be the link that I need for Politano and the uh, La Liga center back that I have, which is Militao right now and I'm thinking probably getting his uh, road to the final. So we're gonna go right ahead and pick this Danilo, uh, put him into a couple of games and see if he was worth the trouble. So there you go, completed. Obviously we don't get a walkout, so we put him in the club. All right, so this is how the team looks. As you can see, he fits right in um, at the right back positions, uh, linking the right mid and the center back that I need. So he's on perfect cam. I've been using this uh, Meadow on tradable for since the start of FIFA probably. Um, as you can see, the face stats are already better than uh, Semedo that I had there. Only the pace uh, is lacking. So I'm thinking because he's so far behind on pace, I'm gonna drop a shadow on him and play a couple of games and see um, if uh, the shadow makes him a worthwhile right back. So here we have his stats with a shadow. Uh, on perfect 10 cam, so you can see he gets 15 acceleration and 10 sprint speed, which is going to take him to 92 and 91. Um, and then on his defending, we have it, uh, 95 interceptions, uh, 93 defensive awareness, uh, 88 standing tackle, a bit a bit behind there, and uh, 98 slide tackle. So the only thing that we needed here was probably to up his balance and agility a bit, and we could do that with maybe maybe an engine, but then we will still be a bit behind on pace. So we're going to try him out like that in a couple of games. And if this doesn't work out, uh, we'll see if changing the camp style works for him. We jump straight into a foot champions game. Uh, as you can see, uh, very nice team, uh, meta players, uh, nice uh, German Prem team hybrid. Um, Ferdinand and Gomez there at the back look very solid. So. Let's see if this Danilo has uh, what we need from a right back. All right, here he goes, his first touch. Looks very nice and fluid. Very nice 
nice there, covering uh, the set him back out of position very fast. Oh my god, what kind of goal was that? Come on! Wow. Come on! Jesus. My god, what do you have to do to score in this game? Nice speed. I see he's crossing. Not very good. Not good. Okay. Not very good on the turn there. Again, a bit slow on turning. What? Oh my god, what kind of goal was that? <laughs> what the hell happened there? I pressed the, the tackle and it was already registered so I couldn't cancel it. And then this happened. So playing on this side again, try and play the Nilo in the game and see if he and do the business. Good passing there, good vision. He plays all right, uh, although that one chance there that uh, the opponent had, um, I tried to turn twice and I think it was a bit slow, but um, seven on eight passes, eight on eight dribbles, and zero on one tackles. So he felt a bit slow and it felt like that was his balance, uh, preventing him from turning uh, faster so the rest of him seems okay he's fast he tracks back when uh, he's not controlled like off the ball movement seems all right play him again let's go son yes what a player still looking for that Danilo there very, very nice very nice passing, good vision. Fantastic pass there. Nice goal there, one nice finish from Morales. See, his off the ball movement is very nice. I like how he closes down very fast there, where he's needed. And roll the sun. Get it? Oh, what a goal. What a goal from Sun. Doesn't want to play anymore. So I'll give him that. I don't I don't mind pressuring here. We'll just let the time go by. Uh, we're winning 5-1, so let's see. His, uh, his match rating is 8.1, actually. So he's pretty high, higher than Robertson from the left, uh, left back side. Um, what he had? He had no shots. 14 to 16 passes completed, which is great. 13 on 13 dribbles. This is what I said that he felt very nice uh, with the ball to move around and 0-1 uh, crosses and 0 tackles 1. Alright, so the first game I'd say he did okay, I liked him. Um, if it wasn't for that chance, um, I would say he did great. So let's go into a second game and see if we can get any more chances on his side and see how he performs on his defensive abilities. Alright, so here we go with our second game. Very good, very good team, very good. Um, very good defense, solid midfield, fantastic attackers. So this is going to be a true test for Danilo and see if he's uh, good enough in his uh, defensive capabilities. What the hell was that? Okay, so we get a disconnect. On our second game, that's for champions for you. Um, I'm thinking it wasn't from us, as you can see. Probably one of those stupid server issues once again. I mean, there's had, there hasn't been a single for champions uh, weekend that I played that I hadn't have uh, a disconnect like this. Anyways, let's go into another game with Danilo. All right, so here we go with our second. An actual third game of the champions to test is Danilo. Uh, not a very nice team, a lot of screen cards in there, which are very good. So let's see if we can actually make this second game and test this Danilo. Wow. 
Ah, I'm so bad defending there. Very good. Danilo there. Getting that ball though. Get it in there. Oh my god. Come on, stop. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, what is happening? Okay, first half done. I don't know what I can say about this game. We had uh, two shots uh, that were off the post, or three, I don't remember how many. Seven on seven passes, five on five dribbles, and no tackles as there's nothing happening from his side. I'm trying to leave some space in the midfield from that side, so maybe he can attack and see how Danilo reacts defensively. But uh, it's not been happening. There is one. in there. Thank you. Very good tackling there by Danilo. There you go. Yes, there you go. Sun with an unbelievable shot. We take the lead. Come on, Danilo. There you go. Very nice. Good interception there. What? All right, so we go into extra time with this crap of a game. Um, let's check uh, Danilo's stats once again. So we have 12 on 13, 11 on 11, and two on three tackles. So he has been doing the work on defense uh, now. All right, so it's going to extra time, so we're getting more out of this game to check out Danilo. There we go. Nice cross by Danilo. Fantastic header by Sun. Excellent third ball. Sun again with a post. So we have three, four posts. I don't know what the hell is happening with this game. Let's go, last chance. Jima there. Still make it through. Cross art. Oh, uh, no, I missed it. I think we hit the post at least three times, maybe four, I'm not sure. Uh, Sun coming in clutch there with two goals. Uh, Danilo. 15 on 16 passes, 14 on 14 dribbles, and two on three tackles, one on one crosses, so he gets the goal assist as well. I think this was a fantastic game for Danilo. Um, also full of stamina. Uh, very nice, I think, from him. Still though, I think his defensive capabilities is not all there. So let's go back into this card and see what we have. What can I say about this card? I think he's uh, very well rounded for a right back. As you can see, everything is in the green. So he looks more like maybe a CM, a CDM maybe, not really. Maybe a CM actually uh, can be there. He has good shot power. He has fairly decent attacking position, uh, long shots. Um, his crossing is good, his short pass, his long pass, his curve is good. So I don't know, I'm kind of confused about this card. He wasn't that bad, but he wasn't a great card as well. I'd say it's a pretty average card for a right back. Um, I don't know if you can find your way around and playing this card in another position. And like I said, the what I found most, which was worst about this card, I think it was its balance. As you can see, a 69. So uh, a few of the times that I had to turn with this card because uh, the attacker was uh, dribbling on, on Danilo, I uh, felt that he was off balance every time he turned and he wasn't turning fast enough. Also that is uh, comes into the agility factor that he only has 73. So I don't know if putting maybe an engine on him, but you will lose a lot of defending on him and you will lose a lot of pace as well. So I don't know if that works well for him. So is he worth getting? I would say from the storyline players that are available, your best uh, choice will be Ox. But if you need this right back for the same reasons that, uh, like I need him, and you need a specific maybe Syria right back or you need a Brazilian right back, 
than you can get him for now and he can do the business until a better right back comes into place. Uh, like I said, he's uh, the best Brazilian right back in terms of rating and he's the best uh, Serie A right back in terms of rating again. So there are not that many choices if you need either of those in your team. So uh, as far as the choice from those three players, I would say go for Oxlade, then go for Martins, Gelson Martins, and then go for Danilo in that order. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.